What's up guys? I'm Nick and this is Build Dad Build. The place where we definitely know what's inside the box. Oh, what's in the box? On this episode, we're gonna build an L-shaped desk. And we're gonna start out by building some boxes that are gonna frame out the legs. I'm gonna hold this up. Basically what the, uh, the desk is gonna look like, we hope. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to start building out these leg assemblies because we're gonna to have to put part of it together down here and part of it together upstairs. It's gonna be a big piece. It is not gonna go up those stairs when it's all together. All right, and leg assemblies are gonna be made totally out of two by four. We want this to have a rustic look, so I am not gonna take the edges off. We are gonna leave that rounded edge. And guys, when you're doing something like this and you already have it mocked up like that, do yourself a favor, make yourself a cut list. So, so basically I took all the dimensions off this. I wrote them down over here. So I know, I don't know if you can see that. Put them all down here, along with how many I'm gonna do of each one of them. Make yourself a cut list for two reasons. One, you wanna make that cut list so you know how much lumber to buy. Okay, so you're gonna add up all those inches and then you're gonna divide it by uh, the dimension of lumber that you're looking for. So I added up all the inches for that. It was like 719 inches, I think. And then I divided it by 96, which is the length of an eight foot two by four. And that told me that I needed about seven and a half to eight foot two by four, so I bought eight. Just in case something goes screwy, uh, I do have a design change that I'm gonna do on that, so we may use a little less lumber anyway. The other reason you want a cut list is because when you're cutting multiple pieces of wood to the same dimension, you wanna cut all those at the same time because it allows you for margin of error. So let's say I have six legs that I need to cut and they all need to be 28 inches. So I set up my stop block and let's say, just for argument's sake, that I mismeasured. That's never happened, ever. <laughs> And I mismeasured and uh, they're 27 and a half inches. Well, if I cut one of those at 27 and a half inches, don't realize it, then come back and reset that up and have and cut it at 20 inches, now I have a discrepancy. But if I have that same discrepancy in all the legs, all the legs are still the same height. So then all you need to do is figure out if you're willing to accept the fact that your table or desk or whatever is a half inch shorter than you want it to be, or if you want to do something to give it that half inch back. Then the other reason you want to cut list is because you want to cut your longest pieces of stock first. That way you don't accidentally cut a board in half or something and need more length than you have and then have to run back to the store. Like I'm going to because I forgot to buy glue. All right, with all that being said, let's get started, shall we? Let's, let's get the party started in this joint. Can I say joint? Doggo, am I gonna get demonetized now? Okay, there we go. Also, another little quick tip. I ain't calling them tips. I feel like I'm lying to you. This is what I do. I always talk about how sanding is boring and we never, we never show it. But when I'm getting ready to assemble something like this and I've got two pieces of stock, I mean, those are pretty smooth, but they're, you know, they might just be a little rough around the edges. So what I have set up, and you could do this with a belt sander, you could do this with the, uh, what's the thing with the limp wrist, uh, the orbital, you know that thing or a random orbital sander yeah <laughs> we're working and words down here all right there there she is that's my my that's my belt sander so a lot of times when i'm doing this i I'll, what i'll do is i'll just take these two pieces i'm gonna come down here i'm gonna tap them up so they're even and then i'm just gonna turn this on them out and that's just gonna ensure that I get a little bit more of a nice crispy 90 degree angle maybe there's a reason I'm more of an artist and less of a woodworker kids So you all get the idea, right? 
If you don't have one of these, a 90 degree clamp, I highly suggest in investing in one. Um, or you can always get these guys as well. These guys are cheaper, but you also need clamps to go with them. All right. Uh, so I'm gonna build one more. What's up guys, I'm Nick, and I'm freezing my butt off. <laughs> um, we had a big temperature drop here yesterday. It dropped like 20 something degrees, it's cold out. Uh, so here's where we are with the legs. Uh, I went ahead and put the other one together yesterday. So we've got three now, we've got the two big ones for the large desk, and then we've also got the small one for the small desk. Now, let me ask you guys a question because I'm kind of an idiot. In these two legs, it's not as obvious because they're close to square. Uh, but in each one of these, like one of these is a little longer than the other. Like it's not exactly, it doesn't come to a 90 degree point. And I realize some of that might be like the lumber and whatnot, but when you check these, they're square. But when you look at this one especially, see how different that is? Let me hold this on my head. See how much more is here than there? And like, I mean, it's fine, it'll be in a corner and I don't think it like really ruins the overall aesthetic, but I did draw a center line down here and figured if I put my center line on this corner and this corner, that, that, should, that this should come to a 90 and it absolutely does not. I realize this is a rectangle and not a square, but somewhere my, uh, my geometry is, uh, I failed geometry, who am I kidding? But I, like, I don't understand why that doesn't work. So if there's a reason or a way that you can get that to go pointy right, let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so today the name of the game is wood filler. Basically when you're using rough two by fours, you're never gonna get something that's like finish quality. So I'm gonna go through today and I'm gonna fill the imperfections uh, with this stuff. I love this stuff because it goes on pink and then when it dries, it turns white so you know it's dry so you can go ahead and paint it. I'll link to it down below. It's just, uh, I mean, it's just dap, whatever. You can, I mean, you can pick it up at the big box store. Now, it is cold and this is gonna be kind of boring to watch me do. So I'm gonna close the garage doors and turn the camera off and I'm gonna do this off camera. If anything comes up, I'll let you know, but I don't think you want to see me fill a bunch of holes. Right? <sighs> so guys, I know this probably hasn't been any time for you, but I feel like I haven't talked to you in forever because I went ahead and put the wood filler in there. It's kind of cold out. It took a little longer to dry than I expected, so I actually went and got some other work for another project done. Uh, and now I'm down here to sanding. Sanding is boring. Sorry guys, but I just want to check in. But basically when you put the wood filler in, you don't want to fill all the imperfections because we still want this piece to look rustic, right? So you just want to, you just want to fill the, the really, I hate to say janky. I don't hate to say janky, it's one of my favorite words, but you really want to feel just kind of like the really janky spots. And uh, you know, definitely leave some knots and whatnot exposed. And now I'm hitting it with the belt sander. After that, I'll go to the random orbit sander and uh, you'll probably come back when I am painting it. All right, we're upstairs in the flex space. I apologize if you hear my daughter crying in the background, she's sick and uh, she's napping right now. Every once in a while she wakes up and starts crying. Um, I don't hear her right now, so I think we're good, but that's why I'm talking kind of quiet. All right, so, we've, so I've hauled everything up here, and I already screwed the first side in. I didn't, she was crying. I didn't want to have the video running. But now what I'm doing, and this is what a lot of you guys will run into if you're doing bigger projects. You need an extra pair of hands to hold a board or hold something, but nobody's around, right? So what I've done is I've just taken a two by four, and I've put it where I needed to to hold the board and then I clamped it so I can make sure it was level and now I'm gonna go ahead and screw that in.
I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I just laid these out. These are face down. I put the, uh, the sides that I wanted, uh, the grain and whatnot that I really liked facing down. I'm going to draw lines on here where I'm going to put my pocket holes. I'm going to pocket hold this thing together and then we're going to pocket hold the breadboard ends on. Just trying to give you a play by play. Also, when I cut these, I did not cut them to length. I left them a little long because I want to get them all pocket holed together and then I'm going to use a straight edge and give me that final dimension. Now you may be asking yourself, who would light a perfectly good desktop on fire? And the answer is, <laughs> let's light that thing on fire. What is up party people? We are back. I had to cut it short the other day. Uh, my my brush, check this out. I noticed I wasn't removing char very well. Look at that. It's just, <laughs> all the bristles are gone, man. Um, so, uh, ooh, new hotness, new hotness. Look at that. Okay, so we're gonna use this today, but we have an issue. We have, we have a warp. I'm not happy about it. Check this out. Okay, see that? <sighs> not cool. Look at that. The other end isn't as bad, but they're both warped a little bit. You can see it kind of raised off the bench there a little bit. So what we're going to try today is something, and actually I don't care about this, like that's fine. But the fact that it's buckled up like that is going to make it hard to attach to the apron. So what we're going to try today is something that I've had limited success with. It works. I know it works. I just can't always get it to work and I don't know why. If you have something warp or cup, uh, when you heat it up, if you, if you heat the opposite side, it does sometimes fix that for you. All right, new predicament. I now have a recently woken up daughter. So she's gonna hang out here. Uh, the kids, I guess, are gonna watch me torch, I don't know. Uh, but we're gonna see if we can flatten this out. If not, we're gonna, uh-oh. What? Mm -mm. <laughs> she doesn't wanna be on camera. Um, anyway, we're gonna see if we can See if we can flatten it out, see if that works, and then brush today. And uh, I, it's gonna be a quick day. It's, it's Sunday and I got the squirts, so. Not the squirts, the squirts. <laughs> and this is kinda crazy, I think it worked. Now, one, this board is twisted, so keep that in mind. But look, there's look, there's a little bit of space here, not nearly as much as there was before, and this side's flat. So, it works, baby, it works! All right guys, current situation right here. I am just loving the depth that those different colors have given this. It just has such a three dimensional feel. The touch is amazing. Okay, so next is clear coat. I'm gonna use the Total Built Halcyon again because I just love the way that stuff went on. By the way, while you guys were screwing off, I built another one. <laughs> uh, this is the L. So I uh, this is just freshly burned. I need to get the treatment on this, like that, and uh, and then we'll go put them in.
What's up, guys? So what do you think? Do you dig the desk? I dig the desk. Cheers and clinkies. But I will say this. I did have a couple issues with the desk. Um, one that I originally addressed in the video, but it was just too long and I cut it out. Basically, you guys know that like a two by four is really one and a half by three and a half. What I didn't realize is once you get over two by sixes, two by eights become one and a half by seven and a quarter because people are idiots. I don't know. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. When I designed this desk, I wanted to have an inch and a half of overhang around the whole thing. Well, with those being quarter inches instead of half inches, four boards spaced out just happens to like come right up to the edge of the apron. So there's really no overhang. That being said, if I had it all to do over again, I would have given myself like a three inch overhang, at least two, but probably three inches of overhang around the whole thing, just because I think it looks better. I did extend the ends out longer. So there is, there's a lip on the ends, but there's really nothing on the side. And honestly, I, it's just, that's, rookie mistake. I really didn't realize that the lumber changed like that. Second, I wouldn't say mistake, uh, but I just didn't realize that this would have an adverse effect was the breadboard ends. I really thought the breadboard ends would prohibit the boards from, from bending and twisting as much, but I have more issue with the breadboard ends themselves kind of bending up and had to crack you guys saw it in the video. And then the last thing is, this is just an oversight on my part. When I built the leg assemblies, what I really wanted to do is run around the whole outside and the whole inside with a with a, just a round over router bit because you've got kind of a square edge butted up against a rounded edge and it just, it looks a little messy. And honestly, that was just a complete oversight on my part. I had meant to do it the whole time. And once I got them assembled and brought them up and I don't know, I forgot or something or, you know, maybe like, a kid needed his butt wipes, I don't know, but something got in the way and made me forget. Hey, we got a couple new Patreon supporters. Uh, this month, we've got uh, we've got Mr. Matthew Morgan, what's up, Matt, and Mr. Joe Vitri. Also, Steven Mann. You know why I did that. But guys, stop on by the Patreon page or head on over to our Discord. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. That just lets me know that I'm headed in the right direction. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I do try to get to every question. Uh, sometimes I don't answer till the next day. If it's a weekend, sometimes I don't answer till Monday, but I do try to get to all of them. Other than that, I don't want to keep you guys. I, uh, I got some work to do. You know what kind of work I got to do. Uh, so until next time, thanks for playing. I got to get to work. And by I got to get to work, I need you to get out of my office. Bye bye now. Computer, turn on whiskey lights. Maybe. There's a reason I work with the Torch Kids, and it's because I'm awesome.